So hi everyone, I've got um, this package that I won that I'm going to do an unboxing video for, for winning a contest on weird secondhand finds. And uh, please forgive me, I've been uh, coughing for a few weeks now, so that might happen in the middle of the video, of the video, but please ignore that. So just dig right in here. I did get asked um, on Facebook Messenger if I had any problems with taxidermy or curse words. I don't have a problem with either. But if you do, probably look away because I think there's something exciting in here. Um, if I can get it open. So, I think some people just go at this with like sharp knives in the wrong direction. But I'm gonna try to be careful. All right. I won the million member challenge and all I got was this box of weird stuff. All right, oh my God. So first we have a postcard. Oh yeah, that just says, thank you so much for being a member of our wonderful weird community, Melissa and Emlyn. <laughs> just short form. Um, it's a nice kind of 1970s, 80s picture of a sailboat. I like old postcards, so that's cool. Oh yes, oh yeah. I kind of want to turn this into a necklace. This is great. Or hanging on the window at work, maybe, I don't know. It's a clear plastic weird si uh, peace sign. Weird, it is a weird sign. What the heck? Okay. A little plastic owl. Halloween's coming up. Is this a, it's a monkey peeler. I actually really like this. this is, I'm gonna use this. Wow, I think it's a monkey. It looks like a monkey. <laughs> kind of matches the owl. Is this for badminton? Okay. Shut up, Is it a normal size? <laughs> looks a little, a little oversized maybe? Maybe we can play a game of oversized badminton. <clears throat> a dried starfish. I had one of these in the 90s and I it was a treasure possession so I think I've got uh, I've got a replacement now. I'll just put it right there. It looks so beachy, so nautical. Okay, I'll get up here. There's some probably some fragile items in here that are a little they're wrapped up. Century insurance. Is this a golf towel? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I know who to give that to. <laughs> That's great. There's a, a guy, I don't know this insurance company, but that's an interesting logo. And that was wrapped around, oh, a gravy boat. I don't have one. I actually need one. And it's a cornucopia. Thanksgiving's coming up too. Oh, perfect. Great. I celebrate Canadian Thanksgiving, even though I'm in the States too, so I need that for October. I don't know what this is. Is that a, a sun and clouds? Maybe, it, I think it's a cookie cutter, but it's pretty, uh, I don't know, movable. Oh, wow. This is, uh, I found a voodoo doll the other day at a, at a thrift store. I didn't post that yet, but this looks kind of, should I open it? It's sealed. This is called a damn it doll. Whenever things don't go so well, you want to hit the wall and yell, here's a little damn it doll that you can't do without. Just grasp it firmly by the legs and find a place to slam it. Mm. And as you whack the stuffing out, yell, damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, there's a website, www.dammitdolls.com if you want your own. Okay. Oh, yes. 10,000 dreams explained. <laughs> I have so many weird dreams, this will really help me figure it out. <laughs> how to use your dreams to enhance your life and relationships. It's the most authoritative, comprehensive, and up-to-date book available on that cutting-edge dream research. Um, it enables you to tap into a whole new level of knowledge and understanding. Um, in this book, Pamela Ball, one of the world's foremost dream interpreters, gives you the opportunity to heal pre previous trauma and enhance the way you live and to reach for the best within yourself. Oh, parasites! such as lice, fleas, or bugs. That's a great page to open to. 
Uh, it suggests that we may be aware that someone is attempting to live off our energy in some way. So that's just a little tidbit from this useful reference. Okay, next. I think it's a mushroom. I don't know, like a little ring holder or something, some little dish where you, you hold the, a single mushroom on it. I don't know. Um, cool. Kind of 70s. Oh. A book, The World of Cranky Cats. What the bleep are you looking at? I had fun once, it was awful. Okay. I'm gonna take a little look at if I can get out of the Ziploc. I just I just wanna see what one of these cranky cats is like. Bath is a four-letter word. And uh, it's funny how you think I'm listening to you. And then uh, did you forget I have allergies? Yeah, these cats are kind of pissy, so they're inspiration. Oh, there's a, just a little plastic fly, another little Halloween decoration. Keep them with the owl. Yes, another fly. Toronto Maple Leafs 1967 Stanley Cup champions. I'm gonna go see a, I'm gonna see them play uh, next month actually with uh, the Canadiens, so. This is, I'll have to take this and just like wear it around my neck or something. That's perfect. <clears throat> and there's a fly stuck in this uh, unfortunate clown there. There's three flies we're up to now. Uh, just clowns are by definition creepy. So yeah, there's this thing. They're probably, a bit, mm. yeah, it smells like it's been in someone's basement for a while. Yeah, I mean, as far as clowns go, it, it's kind of cute, maybe. I don't know who to give this to. I'll find out soon. There's so much stuff in here. A spoon rest. Oh, and it says, oh, I can't tell. There's some name on a mailbox. Maybe it was people who owned it. It looks like a L and a last name. And flowers and lace. Um, it reminds me of one that my grandmother had that I, I have now that I don't use for actual spoons because it's a little grody. Um, this is this is great. I can actually, I can just use this one instead uh, with my gravy boat. Oh, and it keeps going. Yes. These will get used. They look like uh, socks that say fuck on them. Whether that's supposed to say that? I don't know. I don't know what Facebook's rules are. Oh, fuck off. Oh, you sit down and you put your feet up and you, you tell someone what you really think. That's great. Fuck off. I hope you can see that. I'm not just putting oh, yeah. that. There we go. Where I'm just work. That'd be great. I have shoes on, unfortunately. A baby rattle? No, not a baby rattle. It's just a rattle that would be a choking hazard for a baby. Um, I don't know what that's for. Party favor, maybe. Yes, I've seen these before. I love these. Uh, another, a Fred product. Borrow my pen. So you can give, when people ask for pens at work and meetings all the time, I am going to take this. Um, so we have the Springfield Sexual Addiction Center. Shucky the Clown. Dr. Lance Hughes, Proctology. Turn your head and cough. Electrolysis is us. The first name in unwanted hair removal. Um, I should have been reading the little subheadings, they're cute. Um, specializing in those hard to reach areas. Demoxifilopfanadol, like it never happened. Oh, it's got a great, may cause a bunch of side effects. Verdant Fields Nudist Camp, get in touch with your outer self. Stuffed with love taxidermy, no pet too small, give us a call. Howie's House of Hair, from barely there to awesome hair in just one hour. From perv to perfect, from as little as 10 days on the eviction center. These are great, they'll work, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, this is, um, I don't know, it's a 
little treasure box. Oh, there's something inside even. Holy cow. They look like tarot cards, but they're not, they're, they have something written in Spanish. I don't know what kind of cards these are, but the design on them is cool. And then inside, I think this is a pendant that says something. I'm not crazy, my reality is just different from yours. Uh, Cheshire Cat. Which is probably it's a good life motto to have. And then a bunch more stuff. Oh, yes. I wonder if this is the taxidermy. It's a scorpion encased in resin or something on a necklace which it's just kind of an everyday piece for me, really, I think. Yeah, little baby scorpion. And then, looks like a pair of earrings. I don't know, I think these are just cute. They're tooled leather. I'll wear them with the scorpion. Yes, uh, a set of big googly eyes so you can stick them on any object and make them more fun. Something in this bag. Oh, another scorpion. I'm gonna get a nickname like the scorpion lady now. That's great. That's uh, like just a object for your desk, I guess. Give it to my mom for her birthday. She's a Scorpio. Something, oh my God. I think it's a bat. Oh God. Yeah. Holy cow. It's a dried bat. I wasn't expecting that. It's a little one. Okay, I've got quite the collection. I should be displaying all these together, really. They're uh, something special. My Halloween is gonna be on point now. Okay, I think there's one more little box inside here. Okay, where'd my scissors go? They're buried under all the gifts. touch this. This is perfect to add to the collection. It's an alligator head. I guess I'll touch it. Oh, I never knew I needed this. This is something. Like, right there, those three. Starfish is really cute, too cute to do it. I, <laughs> yeah, look at that. Weird. It's um, it's disgusting, and that's why I like it. Um, wow. So I made out like a bandit. Um, <laughs> thanks uh, for voting for my entry, and that's why I got all these amazing things um, that I don't know what to do with now. I mean, these ones obviously are just going to be on permanent display, but everything else, yeah. So people are going to get some special gifts this holiday season, perhaps. So thank you, and thanks you guys for sending this. Um, this has been fun opening, and uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing the next contest and what you guys win. Thanks.